Hey Taurus, welcome back. Thanks everyone for tuning in to your weekend tarot reading. I'll be using a couple of decks to see what's coming up around Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or to the cross watchers dealing with the Taurian. So we'll see what are the messages using a couple of decks. Um, just want to say thank you to everyone for your support. Uh, feel free to like, share, subscribe, and also to sign up for membership for exclusive access to content. Um, Otherwise, let's jump into the reading. Taurus, what is going on for the sign of Taurus? Okay, there's an offer coming up around you, but you're not sure if you want to take it. Um, okay, some of you have a bad feeling about this, or it's not what you've expected. I get the past is coming back. Um, could be an ex, or it's like something you've experienced before is happening again, and you're not ready to put yourself through that again. It's too painful. It's too vulnerable. So you're feeling, the, I feel like you're feeling a bit lost. You're curious. You've come up as the King of Pentacles. So I feel like you control what happens next in this connection or wherever you're at. Um, Taurus, but he's, he's upside down here. I feel like there's something that has your curiosity. Look how she's looking through the portal. So I feel like you're intrigued and, and you're at a stage where something's pulling you in. So you're intrigued in what's going on, but you're still, there's part of you that's holding back, and rightfully so. If this hurt person has hurt you before, if they've done things to disappoint you, then I understand why you're thinking the way you're thinking. I feel like they've done some things that have made you feel like humiliated or embarrassed before foolish energy so i mean it could be from the past as well like something has happened and you don't want it to happen again you felt humiliated you felt embarrassed you felt like you weren't in control before but this time's different you're grabbing the bull by the horns and you're upside down so you'll come out on the other side regardless of what's going on here but i keep getting this energy where you're holding back and you're possibly not ready um, you're not ready in terms of love or you're not ready in to, to give up a part of yourself um, and become vulnerable in this situation. Maybe you're not ready to open up about this per, uh, to this person emotionally. Mm. Because I feel like these cards are, are telling me there's that lack of readiness. Um... So it's like the reason why you're not ready is because somewhere emotionally in your subconscious, this is bringing up some bad vibes. We've got some bad vibes here, Taurus. Bad, bad, bad. What's going on? Maybe you're picking up some bad vibes. But I'm, you know what I'm getting? I get. I get that you're curious about someone, but you know they're bad for you in a way. Maybe they're not all bad, but this person has has some issues, okay? They've got some baggage. They've got some things. They've possibly displayed a little bit of erratic behavior to you. You know, they've, they've done some crazy things or they've told you they've done some crazy things. And it's made you put up your guard, but you haven't lost interest in this person entirely. Um, and I feel like you coming up as the six in the night, things have been one-sided, but it hasn't stopped you completely. The world and the full card are telling me there's, there's this curiosity towards them, I feel. 
a curiosity and you're like thinking hmm, what would they be like in a relationship what would they be like in bed what would they be like as a as, as a partner as a future as, as a lover so you know you're sitting there thinking about these things um but he controls the horn so he can steer it i think it's more the power is more with you I think if you're interested and you want to sort of explore this connection, they'll be open to it. Um, but balance is coming up for some reason. They need to be more balanced in order for this to work. Because you're coming up as your, your cool, calm, collected. But if you're not emotionally balanced, you're not going to be available to commit to them. Or if they're not emotionally balanced... They won't be able to commit to you. It, it'll be messy. It'll be three of swords energy. Okay. And you don't want that. It could also be two different connections entirely coming up around you. Um, and they're so different in nature. And they carry such a different potential. Um, and, you know, you get confused at this. You're confused because you don't know which one to pick. Um, you don't know which one's going to be right for you. Um, and I feel like you're probably happy doing your own thing for now and not getting into things that are too heavy or too much for you to handle. I get that you have some other stuff you want to deal with uh, before you jump into anything. And that's okay. Sometimes we need that. We need that to ourselves. We need that time and energy um, and self-love. And look, for yourself, you've come up in your power here. So that's something you're doing for yourself. And I feel like because of that, you have no leftover energy to deal with um, to deal with anyone else especially not dealing with their you know all their baggage okay that's the last thing you want to do it's going to put you off entirely i feel you don't want to be like you, some of you are playing playing mother to someone here i feel you're teaching them right from wrong you know there's some things they need to learn and you're you're the person that's sort of steering them and <clears throat> in a way i feel like it's maybe putting you off um having anything serious right now especially with them because you have been the one that's sort of initiated those changes. <clears throat> they haven't really made them on their own accord. And I feel like maybe you're wanting to wait and see if they do that. Because that's going to prove that they're able to do that without you. Mothering them and teaching them and, and scolding them. And, you know, there's only so much of that that you can actually do, um, Taurus. So... You know, you have to be, you have to remember that in this situation, especially with someone um, like this. So it's something you have to know about this type of person that you're connecting with. Um, but I'll wrap it up there. Uh, thank you again, Taurus, for watching. It re really does mean a lot. And um, I do hope we'll be in touch again very soon. So thank you, everyone, for your support. Um, don't forget to sign up for membership. And I'm sure we'll catch up very soon. So much love and bye for now.